Do you want to have exposure to the best tokens in the DeFi space? There are so many tokens and it's really difficult to find a winner. That's why diversifying your portfolio is a winning strategy. What if I told you there's actually a fantastic way to gain exposure to the explosive growth of the DeFi space without having to buy each token separately? Keep on watching to find out more. I'd like to thank Aave for sponsoring this video. So what exactly is Aave? Aave is your decentralized bank in the DeFi space. You just need to connect with your Ethereum wallet to the Aave platform. No KYC or registration necessary. You can deposit stable coins like DAI, USDT or USDC as well as many other cryptocurrencies. As soon as you deposit, you will start earning high yields. Aave is one of the fastest growing DeFi apps in this space. Try out Aave today by clicking on the link in the description below and start making your money work for you. My name is Kieran. I'm a data analyst that's been in the cryptocurrency space for over six years. If you're a regular to the channel, welcome back. If you're a new viewer and you want honest and trustworthy cryptocurrency content broken down into weekly bite-sized videos, then I highly recommend to subscribe or don't subscribe if you don't like money. The DeFi space experienced a crazy 44x growth in 2020 alone. And I foresee 2021 and 2022 to be incredibly bullish, not only for crypto, but especially for DeFi. However, it's become incredibly hard for anyone to find these hidden gems that will generate a 10x, 100x, or maybe even a thousand X returns on your investments. That's why I've got these hand-picked DeFi indexes that will help you gain exposure to a vast majority of these tokens without having to pick each one individually. If you're just here for the list of DeFi indexes, let me not waste your time as time is money. Now, if you want to learn more about what these different DeFi indexes are and do, then make sure to watch until the end of the video. The first one is SDFi by Syntactix, a derivatives platform. DPI by token sets, Yam House by token sets, DeFi plus S, which is small caps, and DeFi plus L, which is large caps from Pi Dow with caps market caps, so large market capitalization or small market capitalization. You've got BCP with ETH and BTC and DeFi index by Pi Dow. Oracle 5 by index.finance. Oracle 5 is for Oracle platforms like Chainlink. You've got DeFi 5 by index finance. That's with top five DeFi platforms. Then you've got a DGEN high risk DeFi gems basket by index finance. Before you start buying and throwing your money at these indexes, let me first preface. This is definitely not financial advice. All investments are risky. But what I want you to know is that not every platform is created equally and not every index is created in equally. So for example, with the synthetics index, the synthetics platform is just getting the price of a token. You don't actually own the token. Now with others, you actually own the token. And I think this is really important depending on what kind of philosophy you want to follow, if you actually want to own the tokens or not. And the other thing that you have to know is that investing into any kind of DeFi platform is extremely risky. You're not really sure if there's going to be a smart contract hack and so on. So definitely don't put too much money into these platforms. Definitely not more than you're willing to lose. So I'm pretty, pretty uh, familiar with token sets. I think Pida is also pretty good. Index Finance, I think this is a relatively new platform. So always read with caution. By the way, one of the best investments that you can do today is to invest in the like button, especially if you have been enjoying the content until now and you want more content like this. I'm super bullish on myself. I'd like to do 100x this year. And that's all thanks to you and your support. You're awesome. So the first one is SDFi by Synthetics. Synthetics is a derivatives a trading platform. So basically on, on Synthetics, you're actually trading not the assets, but a representation of the asset. So it's only tracking the price. So this DeFi index is also only tracking the price. This DeFi index contains quite a few tokens 
with different weightage. So it's got 25% of Chainlink, then you've got 25% of Maker, you've got 13% at ZRX, you've got 13% of Synthetics, then you've got 6% of Ren, you've got 6% of Loop Ring, you've got 6% Kyber Network, you've got 3.5% of um, BNT, and then you've got 2.5% of Melon. The current price of this DeFi set is actually pretty high. It's at $15,429. So definitely a crazy price. But yeah, the DeFi space has been increasing by a massive amount over the last few years. So if we look at the one month change, you're going to see just over the last month, it's definitely increased by a lot. So if we look at the 23rd of February, it's only trading at 10K. And probably if you look at last year, maybe only be trading at 1K or something like that. So really incredible. So you can buy this on the Synthetics platform. You just have to sign up. You don't have to buy an entire portion of it. So you can buy maybe a 10 for something like that. The next DeFi set is DPI by token set. So DPI stands for DeFi Pulse Index. And it's a basket of many popular DeFi platforms. And it's based on their market capitalization. So the higher market capitalization they have, the higher the weighting in the set. So you can go onto tokensets.com slash portfolio slash DPI. At the moment it's worth $474.89. If you scroll down, you can actually see the underlying tokens in this set. So you've got Uniswap, Popular Dex, Aave Token, you've got Synthetics Network, you've got Sushi, you've got Compound. And here you can see the allocation and the price percent price increase. So Uniswap had just like a crazy price rally over the last um, few weeks. It's a trading at $33.60. So this is pretty incredible. If you actually click on see more, you can see all of the underlying assets. You've got Yuan Finance, Popular Asset Management Platform. You've got REN, Loop Ring, Balancer. You've got Kyber Network, Meta, and so on. So this is a really popular index and token sets is a platform that's been around for quite a while. In terms of reputability, it's definitely on the higher end of DeFi platforms where you can buy the index. So I highly recommend this one. I've bought this one in the past. So I think this is fantastic. I also really like the fact that when you're buying this DPI index, you're actually getting the underlying token in comparison with synthetics. Next up, another basket also based on token sets is Yam Dow House. This is a bit of a different flavor. So what is really cool with this one is you've got exposure to wrapped ETH, you've got exposure to Bitcoin, and you've also got exposure to the DeFi Pulse Index, which you just looked at. That's really cool. At the moment, it's trading at $1.20. So you definitely got a very broad exposure, not only to the DeFi space, but to the whole cryptocurrency space with some of the biggest players, including Bitcoin and ETH. Next up are the DeFi Plus S and DeFi Plus L. Like I mentioned, Plus S and Plus L stand for small market cap and Plus L is for large market cap. So let's first look at DeFi Plus L. It's at $5.17 at the moment. You'll find this by going on to pools.pydao.org or look in the description below. I've got some links there for you. DeFi large caps. It's trading at the moment at $5.17. And I think what is really cool here is that they've got a little feature here that you can see the, the NAV. NAV stands for net asset value. So the actual value of all of the tokens in that um, index. And the, the reason why is because at the moment it's trading at 1.3% premium, which means that it's trading at 1.43% above the NAV. So the NAV is at $5.10 and uh, the premium is a bit higher than that. And what is also really cool is with this DeFi large cap, you're actually also earning a certain APY, 2.95%. And the current market cap at the moment is $5 million. Let's have a look at the allocation breakdown. So you've got various assets, Link, Aave, Uni, SNX, which is Synthetics, Compound, Yearn Finance, Maker, and Sushi. What is really awesome with 
the PIDAO way of baskets is that you don't only have the assets. Very often these assets are being used to do something that could be lending, staking, or providing liquidity and something like that. If you look at the allocation, the most allocation is given to Chainlink with 90%, and you've got Aave with 16% and Uni with 15.5%. What I like about the PIDAO is if you look here, you've got this APY. So that's how much you'd be earning per year with this basket of tokens. And the reason why you're earning something is because you've got something that's called a strategy. So these tokens are pulled all together and being used in the strategy. So the link is being um, lent on Aave platform and it's earning 0.48%. It's not incredible, but I think it's better than not earning anything at all. Then you've got Uni, which is lent on Compound Finance. You've got SNX, which is lent on Aave for 3%. It's really cool is you earn finance earn, uh, lent on Aave for 9.38%. Well, that's awesome. And Sushi is staked on Sushi for 7.65%. If you want more information about this basket, you can scroll down and read all the information down below, but it's basically what I said with a little bit more information added to it. Let's have a look at DeFi plus S, DeFi small caps trading at $6.23. The NAV is actually at $6.30, which is higher. So the net asset value of the underlying tokens is higher than the price it's trading for. You might be wondering why, well, that's probably because a lot of people are selling at the moment. So there's a higher sell side than buy side. And I definitely recommend if you want to buy, definitely look for when there's a discount available on these, either the small cap or the large cap. Definitely don't buy at a premium unless the market is like super, super hot. So discount at 1.1%, re really awesome. If we look at the asset allocation, you've got like the name, entails smaller cap coins. You've got Uma, Ren, Loopring, Balancer, PNT, and Melon. And then here as well, in comparison with the plus L, unfortunately, these assets are not actually earning anything per year. So that's why you have no APY. If we just go down and look at the allocation breakdown, you've got Uma, Ren, Loopring, Balancer, PNT, Melon, and then the, the allocation amount so it's it's a cool basket but it's definitely not my favorite i do the looks of the d5 plus l especially with the apy that it's earning per year this is fantastic if you actually want to buy the plus s and plus l d5 indexes on a pi dial then what you can do is go for the d5 plus which is d5 index pi trading at five dollars and 85 cents it's got a bit of a net asset value premium trading at $5.75, 1.75% premium. The allocation breakdown for DeFi Plus is pretty easy. You've got 70% allocated to DeFi Plus L and 30% allocated to DeFi Plus S. Last but not least for PiDAO, I'd like to share with you BCP Balance Crypto Pi, which is trading at $3.40. The net asset value is $3.37, so 0.93% premium. This index actually gives you a lot of exposure to the D5 plus. So basically D5 plus S and D5 plus L indexes. But not only that, you also get exposure to Bitcoin with wrapped BTC and exposure to ETH wrapped ETH. So basically with this index, you get the best of all worlds. If BTC goes up, this index goes up. If ETH goes up, this index goes up. If D5 goes up, like it did last year, then is this index goes up. Before I continue with the remaining indexes, I think PiDAO has a really awesome feature I'd like to share with you. And that is you can actually bake your Pi. You can wait and save 97% of gas. The bake together, save 97% of gas, deposit ETH, wait, oven will bake when the gas price is below 100 Gwei, saving everyone money, withdraw your Pi. So the, these pies that they're talking about is basically these um, assets, they're called pies here. So D5 plus, plus L. So this is really awesome. I'll definitely be making a much more in-depth video about PiDAO because I think it's a pretty cool platform. Let's continue with the Oracle 5 index. And this is really awesome, especially if you're bullish on Oracles. Oracles are really important for the DeFi space because they bring off-chain data into smart contracts. And most of your DeFi platforms actually really need these oracles. So the most popular one in this Oracle 5 is of course the well-known Chainlink, 
but you've also got other ones that are maybe a little bit less known. So you've got Ori Chain, you've got Uma, Band Token, and Dia Token. Before we continue with the other indexes, let me know in the comments down below if you're bullish on Oracles, especially bullish on Chainlink. Index Finance has a few other really awesome indexes. You've got this DeFi 5, which is basically five of the most popular DeFi platform tokens. So you've got Uniswap, Aave, Compound, and Synthetix. Really cool, very simple. So the last index of the list is the DGEN index. DGEN stands for Degenerate, and basically it's a representation of the DeFi gambler. Someone that's throwing a lot of money into unaudited, unknown dev projects and expecting a 100x return. So basically, these are high risk platforms, high risk, high rewards. You never really know what's going to happen. You might have a rug pull, you might have a smart contract hack or whatever. So it's definitely high risk. This index is high risk. So what is really cool with this index, you've got a few super good gems. You've got Tarchain, Rune, you've got Republic Ren, Reserve Rights, Curve, One Inch Token, Ocean Token, Alpha Token, as well as Badger and Poker Starter. So really awesome list of DJ Ape worthy tokens. But yeah, high risk, high reward. The game, definitely not financial advice. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.